everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm reviewing and demoing a new mascara that L'Oreal has recently released I cannot follow with so many mascaras that they release but this is the new addition to their volume million lashes it's called Fatale I absolutely love the outer packaging the purple and the gold together it just looks so chic in my opinion and very vibrant really do like it um, the rest of the packaging is very similar to their other previous releases only the color changes now this mascara retails for nine pounds 99 I'm not entirely sure if it's going to remain at this price a lot of times mascaras are released um, on their first weeks of release they have a certain price and then they go up um, usually mascaras from L'Oreal they range from $7.99 to $10.99 I'm not too sure if they have anything more expensive than that so like like I said I'm not sure if it's going to remain at this price but at the moment it's £9.99 now you can find this available in Boots or Superdrug I'm not too sure if you can find it in supermarkets but at least Boots and Superdrug are carrying it so if you are in the States I'm not entirely sure if L'Oreal is releasing this over there but once they release here in the UK it means most countries in Europe will have this available this mascara comes in only one color or one shade it's just black and the product description on the Boots website it says the multi-layer millionizer brush it defines lashes and loads each lash with an overdose of volume the ultra precious formula with rich black pigments volumizes and thickens the look of your lashes for the ultimate femme fatale look it also tells you how to apply it and it also tells you the ingredients which I will list in the info bar below in case some of you are a little bit more sensitive to certain ingredients I will put all of that information below so you guys can have a look so the wand of this mascara if I'm not mistaken is made of plastic and it has really short uh, bristles all over which really grab the lashes I find and in the in between it has it's a different type of texture I don't really know how to explain it but I'll give you guys a close-up so you can have a better look and better feel for this wand now um, the wand also moves which is really good because it allows you to just go all over the corners and the bends of our natural eye shape which really really helps now the first time I used this mascara I wasn't very impressed um, I was actually disappointed I felt like the formula was a little bit too thick um, it was a little bit too dry for my liking I like my mascaras to be somewhat in between not too wet not too dry but I found that this mascara just was a little bit too thick and it also dries very fast that could be a plus for some but for me I prefer to really have a mascara that allows me um, to build color and still allows me to touch my lashes without them being hardened if that makes any sense so because the formula is a little bit thicker I found that the first few days that I was applying it it was clumping my lashes so I never attempted after the first application to do two coats and that's what I normally do with any mascara that I wear if I want a more dramatic look I apply two coats because I really want my lashes to stand out but the first few times that I applied this mascara I just left it at one coat because it was clumping my lashes now I left this um, mascara for a while in my drawer and I didn't wear it for maybe three four days then I would go back and use the mascara and as time went by I found that the formula just got better the formula still dries quick on my lashes so when I'm whilst I'm applying and I'm not too sure if that was coming up on the cam on camera whilst I'm applying I can feel that the mascara is drying so for that reason I try to apply two coats as quick as I can because if the formula is completely dry on my lashes it's very difficult to build color and I feel like the mascara might start flaking um, but it, it really doesn't throughout the day the mascara stays but it doesn't flake right over here in the inner corners my mus my concealer starts disappearing I can't speak today my concealer starts disappearing but I also find that the mascara transfers a little bit now it's been really hot here in the UK um, especially in London one day we had 33 degrees which is absolutely ludicrous I don't want to complain about summer but if it's really hot here in London like that, it's unbearable. Anything you have on your skin will stop melting. 
and although it's very hot it's also very humid so this mascara is not waterproof and I think that's the reason why it's transferring because I'm wearing foundations that are supposed to be good for oilier skin because that's what I have and I set my makeup really well to avoid transfer and I find that this mascara transfers a, a little bit I I don't want to say hundred percent it's because of how humid the weather is or just because the mascara is the way that it is. But I personally prefer a mascara that is not waterproof because it's just easier for me to remove at the end of the day. So my overall thoughts about this mascara, it's an okay mascara. It's not bad, but it's not fantastic either. I feel that L'Oreal has a lot better mascaras in their collections, in their lines, than this one in particular. The Black Volume Million Lashes is absolutely amazing. It makes my eyelashes touch. <laughs> My eyebrows, just saying, it makes them look really, really long. And my lashes are not the longest. They're like in between. They're not long, they're not short. They have a natural curve. And once I apply a mascara, I always know from the first application if I'm going to like it or not. And this one is just meh. It's not fantastic, but it's not bad either. So at the end of the day, what doesn't work for me, you always need to keep that in mind. It can work for you. So. Don't be discouraged by me saying I don't like it because it can work for you so much better. So those are my overall thoughts. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this mascara or what other Volume Million Lashes mascara you would recommend for me to try. I love trying mascaras because every couple of months I need to buy a new one, if not every six weeks. The drugstore ones dry so quickly and I keep buying new ones. So yeah, just let me know if there's any recommendations from the drugstore that you would like for me to try but I highly highly recommend the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Let me know if you do try it because it's absolutely amazing. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!